Hey everyone, Taj No One Three here, and I'm going to be doing a a really special review. It is on Transformers, but it is on one which came literally earlier today, about 30 seconds ago. Not 30 seconds ago, but you get the drift. About 30, about half an hour ago. And I've been trying to figure it out, and I've figured it out eventually. It is Transformers All Spark Power. <laughs> the closest generator. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a bit excited about this. L really, I have been following um, Incinerator. Sorry about that. I've just been following. I've been trying to get Incinerator ever since the Autobot Power Line came out. He is my favourite Decepticon. He's just like Blackout, only holy Christ, he's a hell of a better. He's seriously immense. I love this guy. Right, get down to details. You are probably wondering what those two little ones on the top are. I'm really sorry for the crap quality, but it is in fact a Decepticon logo. You can just about see it. And in my opinion, it would it would look so much better if it was the colour it was it's seen on the reflection. So then you could actually see it. It's really hard to see it. It's a really nice um, light grey and black colour. Or dark light and light and dark grey, really nice with some all spark blue highlights. There's highlights there, and there on the side, and the air intakes or whatever they are. He comes with an awesome gimmick, just like black, just like blackout and grinder. This little piece here, pull it down, or just pull it that way. Then the propellers do spin, not very well though, but at least they spin. And you can change the location or yeah, the angle of these, so you can have them like that, or like that, like that, however you want them. So that is pretty nice. So you can have him when he's just taken off or when he's flying along normally, so we're just going into landing. Once so you can have it like that, and you can see these on the very, 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 very beginning bit of the movie, when it's just come to Earth. With William Lennox and Fig Figuera and Epps and stuff. Yeah, he does also have retractable landing gear, which you need to retract for the transformation. I'll show you those in a minute. He's got nice clear plastic uh, windshield with some all spark all spark blue cockpits. Really detailed, actually. Pretty darn, pretty nicely darn detailed cockpit. Underneath, you can't really tell it's a robot. Just like Highbrow, everything's pretty nicely concealed. He does not suffer from invisible heads head syndrome. Yeah, is really nice. It's got some nice details all around. If you look closer, oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the camera. If you look closer, you can see all the paneling details. And on the top, it's got some arrows. Oh, sorry, crud. And it's got some arrows on each side. So there's one there. One there. Don't know what they're for, but I will. Right. Might as well get down to it. Transformation. What you want to do? Pop the landing gears up. Just like that. Just like that. Then what you want to do? Take the legs. Split them. Which is a bit tricky. Oh, come on. There we go. Split, uh, split them at the top like that. And come off, fully. Come on. And untab it just like that. And then bring the legs down like that. Just bring them up and then bring them down. So it's all sparkle blue at the front. I'm really, really glad about this. It has really nice dark purple, really nice dark purple body parts. It's really, really nice. I like this a lot. It's amazing. Right then, for the transformation of the legs, you can either ha you can have them like that, but it doesn't really look as good. But you can have it like that anyway. What you want to do? I'll just turn the leg around. What you want to do? Take the take this piece. Untab it like that, so it's like that, and then collapse it all the way up. 
like that. Bend it down. Take this piece, bend it down. Or you can just have it stayed up. It doesn't matter how you choose it. But having it down, you can see all the full spark glue details, which are really nice. Do the same thing again. And on the tab it, collapse it in. You can either have these up or down. If you have them down, you can see the bright old spark glue. And I like having them up and twist the legs around. Oh, sorry, I forgot. You can't have them up. You've got to fold them down like that. Then twist the lower part of the leg around. Like that. So that's got some proper on that. And take the feet. Fold them like that. And down comes the old spark blue heel spurs, which I think are a pretty good touch. And take... Yeah. Yeah, and take these. Split them like that. And these should... These will move down. Then all we've got to do is rotate this piece like that and tab it in. It will lock into place. Do the same on this side. Rotate it around. Tab it in. Like that. Like that. Stay there. Then bend that down. And bend it down again on the other side. Then this, and it's got a pretty cool auto morph. This little piece here, press it, and yeah, just it, can, it starts to split it. So what you want to do? Pull this all the way down. And that reveals his head. Then take that, press it up against the chest. That reveals it. And then you've got to make sure that it gets in between. Uh, hang on, just move his arm up. It's got to get in between this little like these here, so you can do that. Get it like that, and then push it in like that. Fold the arm down, and there you've got incinerator. Now his head sculpt is absolutely immense. It's just like Jazz in a way. It's got the same visor, not really the same shape, but it's really nice. And to make up for the lack of visible Decepticon symbol on the back there. It has a pretty nice Decepticon symbol square on his forehead, just like Bumblebee has it on his forehead. And if you're wondering, these all spark blue things are not his eyes, otherwise he'd look extremely strange. The visor are his eyes. And you've got the chest piece, which you can fold these around and make it look like I've been shot open the spark chamber, or whatever. Now, what I absolutely adore with this figure, the gimmick still works in every pose you put him in. So put him down, and it still works. So if you have it like that, I'm doing a kind of freaky robot move, it still works, which I find absolutely amazing. Is put, it is Hasbro's, in my opinion, Hasbro's best achievement so far. Well, it, what, it has been their best achievement having a figure which the gimmick works in all directions. It is a really nice figure. And I got this off eBay. And it literally, it was dispatched yesterday and it arrived today. So, just thumbs up for eBay. If you don't like it, I hate you sometimes. Right. In fact, I don't hate you sometimes. I really hate you if you hate eBay. Right. And, um, articulation. Head rotates 360 degrees. 360 degrees at the shoulder. 360 degrees rotating round. Bends at the elbow. Uh, same, for, but same for the other side. Uh, bends at the hip. Bends at the knee, bends at the ankle, oh, and it does tend to pop off. Right, that is basically it for this. Thank you so much, Hasbro, for making a brilliant mold. I really hope to God that they will actually pull their fingers out and make a repaint of this and see what it looks like. Okay, this has been Taj Naman 3's video of Incinerator. Thanks for watching. 
And if you don't like eBay, Incinerator has something to say to you. I kill you! Yeah. Come on, Incinerator. No! Inci ah! So incinerator, your foot! I know. It's evil. My foot keeps coming off. Okay. He's got something to say to you if you don't like eBay. You're, n you're imbeciles! No!